And we are back for another fun lesson in Algebra, Chapter 3, Section 3, Function Notation. Ooh, good stuff. All right. You know that y equals mx plus b, and it can be written as y equals, like, m and b are constants, so like 2x plus 3. Well, that's the equation. We have an equivalent function notation. f of x equals mx plus b, or 2x plus 3. So note here, and we already did that in the opening lesson, that this is not f times x, it's f of x. And so both y and f of x are the dependent variables. So f of x is, a, is another way to write y for the function, the dependent variable. Okay, and that is the function value at the point x. All right, so we want to evaluate, evaluate this function. Right here, f of x for negative 4x plus 7 when x is 2 and x is negative 2. So f of 2 is equal to negative 4, and we just replaced x with 2. So we're going to put 2, remember when replacing a variable with a value, put it in parentheses, plus 7. And then we're going to do the same thing for the negative equals 4 times negative 2 plus 7. All right, four time, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, plus 7 is negative 1. So f of 2 is equal to 1. Or if I want to write that as an ordered pair, I have negative, uh, sorry, we have x is 2 and y is negative 1. That would be my solution right here or the function value at 2 is negative 1. For negative 2, negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8, plus 7 is 15. So f of negative 2 is 15, or when x is negative 2, y is 15. You could also show that as an ordered pair. All right, we want to interpret this in function notation. So f of t is the outside temperature in Fahrenheit t hours after 6 a.m. So t represents the hours after 6. Okay, so the meaning of each statement, f of 0 equals 58. Okay, so we have the temperature in Fahrenheit. So f of 0 means 0 hours, 0 hours after 6 a.m. So that is at... 6 a.m. It is it is 58 degrees Fahrenheit. 58 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. B. F of six. So six hours after 6 a.m. So that is at 12 or noon. At noon. Um, the temperature is. At noon, the temperature is n degrees Fahrenheit, some unknown amount, or the noon degrees, right? The noon temperature. This is three hours after 6 a.m., so that's three. So 6 a.m. plus the three gives me 9 a.m., so at 9 a.m., the temperature at 9 a.m. and then 6 a.m. plus 9 give me 15, which is 3 p.m. at 3 p.m. So the temperature at 9 a.m. is less than the temperature at 3 p.m. That's what that would mean. Okay. Solving for the independent variable. x is the independent variable, the input. So we want to solve this for h of x. Uh, find the value for x when for h of x being negative 7. So if h of x equals negative 7, then I can replace h of x with negative 7. So I have negative 7 is equal to... 2 thirds x minus 5 
first thing we do, we're going to put a safety circle around our variable term so we don't eliminate that accidentally. Add the 5 to each side. This cancels out. We get negative 2 is equal to 2 thirds x. Now we can multiply by 3 on each side and then divide by 2, or we can do that in one step, multiplying by the reciprocal by 3 over 2 on each side by 3 oh, over 2 on each side. had to put these parentheses there, otherwise it, I'd be subtracting it, right? So now the 3 cancels out the 3, 2 cancels out the 2, we're left with x, and then the negative tells me my answer is going to be negative, 2 cancels out the 2, I get 3. So for the x value, 3, h of x is negative 7. All right, if I want to graph a linear function in function notation, uh, there's a few ways I can do this. One way is plug in and see what I get out. So I'm going to do a little input-output table. Always start with an easy one like 0. All right, plug in 0 here, 2 times 0 plus 5. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 5 is 5. So when x is 0, f of x, or y, is 5. All right, so now we've already found a, a, a point that's an ordered pair 0 and 5. So I can go ahead and graph that point. Uh, 0, 5, 0, and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, that's up here. All right, now I would usually plug in 1 because that's easy, but if I plug in 1, 2 plus 5 is 7. Okay, and 7's already off my graph, so I'd have to try a different number. Uh, how about negative 1? Let's plug in negative 1. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 5 is equal to 3. All right, so I get 3. Negative 1 and 3. Negative 1 and 3. Two points is enough to make a line. Now, I could put another one just to check check my work. See, how about negative 2? Plug in negative 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Plus 5 is 1. So let's check to see. At negative 2, we are at 1. So I did my work right. All right. Example 5, the graph shows uh, the number of miles a helicopter is from its destination after X hours on its first flight. On its second flight, the helicopter travels 50 miles further and increases its speed by 25 miles per hour. The function f of X is equal to 350 minus 125X represents the second flight where f of X is is the number of miles a helicopter is from its destination after x hours. So f of x, remember this is the same as y, is how far it is away from its destination, distance from the destination, after x hours. So here we could say after one hour, he's 200 miles away. After two hours, he's 100 miles away. All right? Now we've increased our speed by 25 miles per hour. Which flight takes less time? Okay, there's a couple ways we could approach this. We could make a, a table and graph the second one, or we could say, how long does it take until we arrive? So when does this cross the x-axis on the second flight? And crossing, this is the point where he arrived. Right? So here it took about three hours. When it crosses the x-axis, y, or f of x, equals 0. So I want to know when is f of x equal to 0, because that's when we're zero, distant, 0 miles, when the distance is 0 miles away from the destination. That means we've arrived. Okay, so I'm going to set f of x as 0, put that in here, so then 0 is equal to 350, minus 125 
x. Now I want to get x by itself, so I can either move the x to the other side or I can move the 350. Okay, I'm going to use a, a clever trick by adding 125x. My values are both going to be positive, so I'm going to move 125x to this side. Add that on both sides, then I have 125x is equal to 350. You could have subtracted the 350, then you would have gotten negative 350 is equal to negative 125. Also works, but you have to pay attention to the negatives. I like to move it to where I'm working with positives. That's a tip for you, tip for success. Divide by 125, and x is equal to 2.8. All right, so that means on the second flight, even though it traveled further, it took less time. x is equal to 2.8, and x is the number of hours, so we would have arrived right about here. Okay, even though we started at 350, it would have arrived there at 2.8. And that is how you solve that problem. That's all the fun we're going to have today, but check in again next time for another fun lesson.